So this is potato pancakes, Julia Child style today. Oh, <laughs> bon appetit. This recipe's coming from my ride or die right here. This is volume one, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from JC, of course. Now I can stop pretending that it has a cover on it. That's just for the opening. This indestructible book has been with me since the very beginning and it's gonna make it till the very end. It's probably gonna outlive me. Crepe de pomme de terre, grated potato pancakes. Holding off on this one for a little bit because a few months ago I made draniki, which is the Belarusian national dish. It's on the other series that I have on this channel. That's a plug for cooking around the world, hosted by me. Yeah, so I made this Belarusian dish and it was essentially, you know, it was very similar to a potato pancake and also a latka. In fact, I would put them all in the same kind of family and maybe they're all just kind of the same besides maybe the size, the shape, the thickness of them, certain ingredients. Countries, cultures all over the world have some sort of variation of a potato pancake. Turns out that the French do too. So I'm gonna do two versions, the vegetarian friendly and then the meat version of this thing. Uh, I think it's just a... Uh... You didn't see that. <sighs> Excited to get right into this. Bowl me. Thank you. Block of cream cheese. I mean, it was sitting on the counter while I was doing all that talking, so it kind of just stuck to the wrapping. So yeah, this is cream cheese, eight ounces, 227 grams worth. And what I need to do is add in one and a half ounces of flour, which is 43 grams. Now she says mash it, so I'm just gonna mash it with a masher. Should I just... It's a slow start while I just deal with some technical difficulties in my brain. And uh, yeah, she said mash the cream cheese. So I just like instincts, I just grabbed my potato masher and I thought that that would do the trick. Turns out that was a terrible idea. I just mash it all with a fork. Unless I'm missing something here. No, mash it with a wooden spoon, you dumbass. All right, actually, you know what? So sometimes the way she phrases things in this book, it's kind of confusing. She says mix, mash the cream cheese with the flour. So I'm like, yeah, mash it. But then in the next paragraph, she says beat. So. Next up, I'm gonna add in two eggs. What the f It's about one eighth teaspoon of pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt. So beat until smooth. All right, beautiful. Believe it or not, with just those few steps, I have made a mess. I don't even know how I could, this is six ounces, 170 grams of a Swiss cheese. I'm using Emmental. She says to do a 1 8 inch dice, and that's just code for me to make them into small pieces like this, tiny pieces. I could probably just use the grater at this point, but she's not, so I opt not to, too. I'm gonna scrape it all up into the bowl. All right, so next up, my potatoes. I have two and a half ounces worth. These are russet. So I'm using four potatoes because they're like smaller. And peel away. And I'm just gonna keep these in a bowl of cold water for now because I don't want them to turn any color while I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Three ounces, 85 grams of finely diced up ham. Now this stuff is already cooked, but she says you need to dice it and boil it. And firstly, I was confused because I didn't know which order to do it, dice or boil. I chose dice. And uh, next up, I'm just gonna drop this into spoily hot water. And I'm not really sure why. I think it's just probably just to soften it some more because it's already soft, but maybe just, I don't know why. That took around 10 minutes. It's kind of softer, but fresh chives. I'm assuming cut them up. She doesn't really specify yet again. I'm gonna dice these up very thinly. Okay, fresh parsley as well. She just says add fresh herbs, so I'm just, it's on me to figure out what that means. I'm gonna dice them up as, well, what else would you do? I need three tablespoons in total of this stuff. Let's combine them, let's get nuts. By the spoonful, I need to add around three to six tablespoons of heavy cream. I'm gonna add a tablespoon at a time. I'm gonna stir it in. Okay, next tablespoon. 
It was around three and a half, four tablespoons. I gotta add in the fresh herbs, or herbs, Jamie. Herbs. Just looking at this friggin' recipe and I just realized that I, for, for some reason I skipped the potato step. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a big deal at all, but I have to move on to that now. Some days in the kitchen, I'm having a really good day. We all have good days in the kitchen. And then there's these days. So with the large holes on my grater, I need to do this. I wanna move fast so the potatoes don't brown, and I hate that. So I need a clean cloth, anyone? Yep. Handful at a time, about a big handful. Now I gotta squeeze out as much water as possible. There's all the excess water. Grated potatoes into the cheese and egg mixture. It does look like I'm making enough for a small army, but maybe I'll serve the building or something. I don't know. So since I added the cream in reverse order, I'm gonna add a couple more tablespoons. The consistency of this batter should be thick and not runny. Uh, affirmative. Taste for seasoning. Let's get a little more salt in there. So half of it's gonna go into a separate bowl. So split it evenly. Boil diced ham into one of the bowls. Okay, let's do this. Medium heat, cast iron skillet. Throw in a knob of butter and about a tablespoon of oil. Form it into half an inch thick and three inches in diameter. Room for one at a time, unfortunately. No, no, that's not happening. We're doing two at a time over here. Little space between those two bad boys, yep. So it's gotta be three minutes per side. Lightly browned on the bottom. Bubble holes need to be poking their way through the top. Uh, kind of. This one, kind of. Yeah! Yeah. Making sure you're regulating that heat. It's not too hot, not too cool. I'm looking for something like that. Keep them off to the side in a warm dish. The lid on. I did some with the ham, some without. And we're just gonna treat them all as one right now. I think I'm gonna do like a stack. I'm never really good with the, the plating stuff. Like, would that be better? No, that looks, maybe not the stack. Maybe something like that. Yes. So next up is a little bit of a surprise. And I, I didn't feel like it was necessary to go show how to poach an egg for the umpteenth time on the show. So I just did it off camera. So the egg goes on top and then some chives, like so. Order up. That egg on top was a good idea. I love this thing so much, I didn't even realize I ate three of them. I was just, I just kept eating. You better look out, I'm out for you next. One sexy hash brown. I've been going back and forth between the ones that have the ham in them and the ones without. I gotta say one thing. I love them both. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Actually, I was just expecting it to be more along the lines of what I, well, remember that story I told you at the beginning of this episode? A few months ago, I made draniki. This one isn't chock full of onions. That's a big difference, but I mean, it's got, it's got a crap load of cheese in it instead. The cream cheese, the Swiss cheese. I mean, should I keep going? You take a bite of that thing, you taste the cream cheese. Cause it adds that like a sour, tangy, salty, cheesy butter, whatever the hell cream cheese tastes like. Oh, the, I forgot about the herbs the er herby herbs, because they're like the fresh maker in there to offset with the cheese. So it's just, you know, you gotta try it. Anyway, you probably noticed that I only made four pancakes. The rest of the batter is right here and right here. I'm probably gonna stick this in the fridge or the freezer or something, save it for a rainy day. 
have had something stuck in my eye for this entire time I've been filming, so I'm excited to just make sure to check out my Patreon if you're interested in signing up, supporting the show. There's extra stuff over there. Uh, but that's all I got today. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir.